here we are back again with another brand new version, a free update for all Sketchwell customers, version 1.5.10. Now before we begin, a little quick knock knock joke for you. Knock knock, who's there? Orange, orange who? Well, once you see what's included in this new update, orange, you glad you joined Sketchwow? Anyway, moving on here. So what's in version 1.5.10? Well, I created a little handy dandy diagram here based upon a template I grabbed from Sketchwow. Makes it a lot easier than having to create stuff from scratch, but you do have both options within the software. So in no particular order, number one, Preset document sizes. This is something we have been asked about for quite some time. Uh, obviously, you're creating all sorts of different documents based upon you know, blog posts or infographics or just diagrams or content for Instagram, Pinterest, whatever the case may be, or for a video like I'm creating right here on YouTube. Now you can very quickly start your sketch by selecting a, a lot of different presets, which makes it a lot easier. Also, number two, makes it easy for document resizing. What if you want to repurpose a sketch for a different platform or a different use? As I'll show you in a few minutes here, you can just resize those sketches very, very easily and away you go. Also, something else we've been hearing about is adding hyperlinks to the canvas. If you add an icon or an image or an element and you want to link that out to a website or to a Google Doc, whatever the case may be, Sketchwow now allows that, which really makes this more of like a digital kind of whiteboard, if you will, like almost like a digital scrapbooking board where you can add live hyperlinks and link to external you know, sites and resources, which just makes it a lot more useful. Number four, export selection. And this makes it really fast to just go and grab certain elements from the canvas as you'll see in a minute, right click and then just export those for you know to PowerPoint slides, into other applications for your website, whatever you want to use the sketches and the designs in SketchWow for, you can get those out of SketchWow um, faster than ever. Also number five, you can now remove line points. Again, it's a small little thing, but when you're drawing a curved line, sometimes you want to have a little more control over how that curved line works. And I'll show you exactly how we do that in a minute here. Also made a few small icon updates. So you can see on the bottom of the screen, there's a few small tweaks. Again, not really a big deal. It's just more of us just being finicky and nitpicky and just wanting to constantly improve and just to really sharpen and make the software better. Also, plenty of tweaks and fixes behind the scenes, which I won't bore you about. But let me show you here, starting off with number one, let's talk about preset document sizes, okay? So in SketchWow now, if you go to the file menu, you and click on document sizes you'll see there's a whole bunch of different presets that you're allowed to create now now if I go and create a new document same thing it prompts me now to choose from one of these preset sizes we will be adding more over time again based upon your feedback uh, based upon um, what you want to see and of course our goal is to continue to make sketch wow the best diagram maker and by adding these features that you suggest it just helps us to get further and further to reaching that goal and maintaining that goal so that was a big one uh, and once again it just makes it so simple simple to create new sketches based upon using those preset sizes now let me show you something else here I'm gonna go and add a new page from a template and show you something cool and click the one there it's pretty cool uh, yes, we'll click on that. So here is one of our many included templates, right? There's dozens of templates included in Sketch. Wow, here's just one of them. Now suppose this looks cool and all. Now suppose I want to make this into an Instagram post. Well, in the past you'd have to go and do a lot of manual resizing, but now you can just simply go to the handy dandy file menu again, document size, use one of the drop downs here for Instagram post, and voila, let me just make this small as you can see it. So now you can see the actual 1080 by 1080 screen size or you know document size is automatically added and it's resized this document. Now of course you can still go and have more control. You can right click and go select all. What I like to do is sometimes I like to just manually tweak things. I'm going to go and drag this out, make it a little bit a little bit bigger maybe, and I'm going to go and just maybe center this a bit more. There we go. Just a very small tweak, right? But now you have that ability to just click on a pre-made document size and then as you see here use the select all command 
and just do some minor tweaking as you see fit, okay? So again, small little feature, but huge time saver for those of you working with various types of images and documents and what have you, right? Adding hyperlinks to the actual canvas. So let me show you how that works. So suppose I wanted to, uh, I don't know, link this rocket ship to a particular website. I can go here into insert link, and now I simply type in the URL, oops, hit enter, and then there it is. It's up here, you can see now, when I look at the actual element, it has a little tiny link icon there. When I click on that, it goes over to google.com or any website or Google Doc of your choice. And of course, when I click on that, it goes right and opens up your browser and away you go. Of course, I can modify that by clicking on here. I can go and edit this, change the link, whatever, or I can just toast it and delete it like you see there. So once again, we've been asked about this for quite some time. Just a nice little handy feature, especially for those of you that are working with clients or creating documents that you want to show within a presentation. Uh, a Zoom call where now you can link out dynamically to any external sites from within the Sketchwow canvas. Moving back here. Export selection fast. This is one of my new favorite features because I know that many of you use SketchWow and you want to put these images into PowerPoint, into Keynote, into Google Slides, or into other documents, even Word Docs or what have you. Well, now you can do this very, very easily. Now, you can simply go and just click on an element and then right click and say export selection and then you have the usual options that you have here in terms of the various file formats and what have you and and voila you're done this also can be done with grouped elements for example if i want to go and take this guy and combine him with that guy right click again export selection same principle or you can just go and use the uh the select all command which you're familiar with now because i just showed you five seconds ago and i can just only export this area i can right click and again, export selection. So it just makes it a lot faster and a lot more handy just to take the entire canvas or take certain elements in the canvas and export them into the file format of your choice, okay? Saves a lot of time. Removing line points. All right, let me just show you here how this works. So let me just go and let's just do some diagramming here and uh, show you how this works. So. Um, at this point in time, you can do a lot of things with curved lines. Let me do like a really crazy curved line here, okay? So there we go. It's connected. Looks good. Uh, let me make this into uh, an arrow tip, okay? So as you can see here, there's a lot of points on this line, right? Sometimes that's a good thing. You can change these around, you know, modify them, whatever. But sometimes you want to make things maybe a little more clean, right? A little more simple. Well, check this out. Now, you can just double click on one of these points and boom, gone, right? Still resize it. Maybe double click on this one. Boom, done. How about this one? Boom, okay? We can keep going on here and make this very simple. So you see now, this has become a very smooth curved line now, right? And if you make a mistake, no big deal. You can go and use the undo button and just go back and say, okay, ah, maybe we shouldn't remove so many of these line points. So maybe that's a little bit more natural, okay? So you get the idea? So it just gives you a lot more flexibility and control over what you see with the curved lines that you create within SketchWow. And as I said, sometimes you may want to keep things a little more simplistic and have a little more of a, you know, just a, a uniform smooth flow to the lines you create within a sketch wow um, as i mentioned before we've got a few small icon updates here uh, you won't even notice these but it's just us being again just a little bit picky and wanting to make sure we're providing the best experience for example um since you asked haha <laughs> the uh the coffee mug here before it was not filled in black at the top so the coffee was actually the same color as the mug I know it's a small thing but really nobody drinks yellow coffee or if somebody serves you yellow coffee you should probably run to the hills because who knows what they're putting into your cup right so that's it folks this is a very quick short video but i hope you're excited about the changes in sketchwow and as i said before our goal is to really make this the best diagram maker software ever uh, and keep those suggestions coming in as i've mentioned before 90 percent of what you see in front of you with every new sketchwow update is based upon feedback from our valued customers just like you. We've already got another few updates. We're kind of in the, have in the works right now. A few new features you've been asking about. So I'm excited to show you what's new in the next video. Until then, have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.